Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie. You're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Today I am unboxing two diamond paintings that were sent to me by Saner Direct on AliExpress. If you like what you see and you would like to purchase one of them, I do have a link down below that will give you an additional 5% off um, until December 12th is how long that will last for. Okay, I'm going to start with the big one and then follow up with the mystery smaller one. Normally I do the smaller to bigger, but I really want to see this diamond painting. Okay, this is a, um, it's a large blue peacock. And I'm sure you've seen it before. And I think... There's something special about this. So let's find out here. So yeah, it's got special drills right off the bat. That was right in the top. So this is what they look like. They are, here, let me go. There we go. So they're a beautiful teardrop crystal color. There's quite a bit of them in there wasn't sure about that so I didn't say anything until I knew for sure let's see what else we've got to pull out of here it's actually in a bag that's different and here is our toolkit wow there are three drill pens one with a nine placer a six placer a three placer a small white tray and some wax. And they all have squishies. And let's look at this giant thing. Now it says it's a 60 by 90 on the website, but that's for the full canvas. So I will do my best to measure the actual drilling area. Okay. Oh, the drills inside here. Let's see if I can shake them out. I do like that it's poured glue. And this one is round. Whoa. So here are the drills. I don't see DMC numbers on the bags, but it doesn't look like there's too many, too many colors to this. But we'll look at those in a minute. Alright, so the thing about poured drill, poured glue is it's a lot easier to straighten them and not because you don't have to worry about bubbles. And this is actually this is his actual um, email. I've been I've been working with uh, Charlie since basically the beginning of my channel. He was like one of the very first people to contact me to show a to promote diamond paintings. I think he was the second person, so that's one of the firsts. And I I message him through Messenger, but I've also done it through email, so I that's why I recognize his um, email address. Here it says, see this oh this canvas first of all is very thick. It is one of the stiffer type canvases that I've ever seen. I'm not sure if that means it's a better quality, but it is um, quite thick. Um, it says, as the product is a manual drilling method, we add 20% of the diamonds. There may be some missing diamonds. If such a situation occurs, you can contact us email at this email until you are satisfied. And he is very good with... Um, his uh, customer service and it does actually say Saner Direct on the canvas now so I'm thinking he may have still been pretty new when um, we first started corresponding too. now this is really big so it does say 60 by 90 it says there's 29 colors um, the 29th being the special the special drill here these things there. Um, you don't have to pull the cover back on these to get the to 
you know, flatten it, but it does help a little bit. It helps with me to get the uh, air pockets out of the cam between the canvas and the the covering, which is no big deal. It's just a texture thing for me, which I because I like to to feel the plastic just flat against the diamond painting. And when it's rolled, it gets these air pockets. Anyway, um, let me show you the drill filled. Thank you. Here is. Let me see if I can see it with you. All right, so I'm getting up really close because let's see the angle I'm at. There we go. You know that you you can see the symbols pretty well. It's just a matter of in this blue section, some of them may like H and N. They kind of look the same to me, but if I look at the key over here, oh, it's all blurry. Let's get that unblurry. There we go. Um, if you look at the key over here, the H is has a darker background than the N does, so. It does, they are somewhat, I mean, because they're right next to each other. Let me see if I can show you right here. See right, oh, this finger. Over a little bit more, there we go. So right there, they're, they're right next to each other, H and N. So, you can see the lighter blue is the N and the darker blue is the H, but that is something you will want to watch for because they are so similar to each other, but the, they're really clear. They're not blurry symbols at all. Uh, it looks to be like they're all, all except for a couple, they're in black. Okay, so the S will be in white. There's a few that are in white, but most of them are in black. There's, it looks like there's like three or four. But this is very big. Okay, let me measure the width of it in centimeters because that's what we're used to with diamond paintings. They measure things in centimeters. Okay, so this is actually 50, almost 52 centimeters wide. So you take off about eight centimeters for the border, four centimeters on each side. I try, I said to my teacher, um, I said to my teacher, I have a present for you. And they said, Oh, you gave her an apple? Yeah, and he said she loves apples, but, and it said that would be very cool if I, I thought, like, the screen on Zoom could, like, we could, like, put, like, the, like, we could put our hand in there, and it's like a portal. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. yeah, Mommy's doing a video, and I really need you to let me do my video, and you need to stay at school, okay? Thank you. So yes, it's a challenge trying to do this while she's homeschooling or, you know, distance learning. And that's one of the reasons I haven't really done many videos lately because this happens all day. But I tried telling her I'm doing a video today. But anyway, so you take off four centimeters from each side in order to get your 52 centimeters wide. Now let's look down a little bit more here and you can see where all of those special symbols go and these colors are a lot darker these blues really pretty I love the darker blues and this is where you're gonna run into the symbols that are white um, you may need to use a light pad the, the black symbols you can see really clearly the ones in white, you can see them and they're distinctive because it's the numbers one, four, two, um, and then there's the white dot. Those are the ones that are in white and you can tell what they are without a light pad, but the writing is pretty small. I would still probably use a light pad just so that I can make sure I was doing the right symbols, but let's see if I can show you. 
you can hear how thick this canvas is too. All right, so there you can see all the different numbers in white. They're 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 legible, that's for sure. Not a problem, and they're not blurry. It's just if you have a hard time reading small numbers like I do, you will probably need to use a light pad. But I don't think I'm going to be able to measure the length on this. It's still pretty curled. I'm going to need to put it under some books before I hang it up. But you can also run it along the table backwards to flatten it. And this can only be done with the poured glue. Do not try this with double-sided adhesive. But that also helps to flatten it. So I don't have a lot of room on this table. But... I'll try and get you the full view. So there's that half of it. Still can't get the full view of it. So it's probably, um, let's see, 52 by 82 is what I'm guessing. You know, if we're going to take off the same amount on the bottom and top that we did from the sides. And this is a full drill, guys. It's not one where it's the partial dr drill where it's just the peacock and the flower. The whole background is done, too. So, there we go. I have been looking for a really good peacock um, diamond painting. And this is a nice big size. It's not something I'd put on my own wall, but it would be something I'd love to do and donate to maybe a Chinese restaurant. My favorite Chinese restaurant or something, you know? Or somebody who loves peacocks. So there we go. That is our large blue peacock. Let's look at the drills. All right, let's look at these drills. Oh, let's see. Did they have DMC numbers on them? Yes. On the canvas, they do have DMCs. And like I said, the bags do not have DMC numbers on them. 28 colors. There will be 28 colors in here. And they are numbered all the way through to 28. Let's scroll in so you can see the colors. We're going to start with 28 since that's what's on top. Actually, what's this number? Here's number 24. So there's four bags of 24, which is that bluish or greenish white color. Almost looks like it would be glow in the dark if it actually did. That's what a glow in the dark drill would look like kind of greenish white. I don't remember the DMC number, but it's on the canvas. So there's number 24. And let's see, number 28, we have two bags of that, like, antique white. And we got some yellows. And now we're going like, to see some of the blues. One bag of that pretty aqua color. And then that sea foam type of green, minty green, a periwinkle blue. Wow, the drills sure did jump on this one. There's a bunch of the blues from 20 and number 21. But that's a nice pastel looking yellow. And there's 20. Another really pretty blue. And another really gorgeous blue. Three bags of that 19. And then 18. I'm not sure that that's 310. 18. Let me look real quick. No, it's 939. There are no 310s in this. Okay, but then there's a tiny bit of this green color. And the brown could show you on the back. It shows a little better. You can see the color. And then our other strip. I'll show you from the back. There we go with 15. It's kind of a pea, well, pea color. I was going to say pea green, but that's not green. Uh, number 14, one bag. 
Now, 13 has three bags of that darker blue. And then here's another really pretty blue. Two bags of that. A little bit of orange. Some green. A little bit more of a brownish color. Another darker green. Looks like they had a hand it on there. Number eight. There's a gray color. Like a teal. Teal blue. A bunch of this gray color here. Looks like there's number one, two, three, four. Yeah, so there's only one bag each of these grays. They're three different gray colors. Oh, well, if you want to call that, that's like a grayish blue. But there's only one bag of that. That's number two, and this is number one. So there we have that one. That's our large peacock. And I will put this away. And then we'll be right back with the mystery diamond painting. I did forget to mention that the large blue peacock is $18.99. Um, plus, use the link down below and you get an additional 5% off. And this is the mystery diamond painting. It's a 30 by 40. Let me scoot you back out. And it's literally a mystery. So... I'm not going to know what it is until it's done. And I know some of you have used bought um, mystery paintings from another company, and some people liked it, but most everybody didn't because they didn't like that the images were just not really interesting images. I have no idea what this is going to be. Um, and I might just you know, do that as a side project just so I can find out what it is. I have done a mystery painting before um, from that other company that you, um, that I was talking about. And yeah, I still need to show you what it was, what they are actually. Okay. So again, this is from Saner Direct. It says it's a 30 by 40 and I will measure it. It is um, double-sided adhesive, which, you know, I would prefer on a mystery painting for them to be, um, have the opaque covering because I don't want to see, um, what I could possibly be seeing because, you know, it's supposed to be a mystery. Now, the interesting thing is, is it comes with the same toolkit for this smaller one that the big one came with. So you get a lot of, uh, multi-placers. I mean, these are the basic pens and if you prefer, the thicker pins, the acrylic pins and whatnot, I, you know, I do have them in my shop. Uh, I prefer to use, this is one of my favorites to use, is my, um, I think I call this one, um, grape, I can't even remember, grape something, but it's super pretty. Look how pretty that is. And my autofocus is not working. I don't know why, but. There we go. Anyway, I prefer using the thicker pens, but um, if you choose not to get the, to buy a Forever Tip, which is the stainless steel silver ones, um, you, these are good for replacing your brass tips if they, when, when and if they break and burr, and that's what those would be good for. Plus the squishies are good for if you're using the pink pens as well, because, you know, it can be fatiguing. To diamond paint for many many hours all right so this has 27 colors as you can see on the key there are no colors so it won't give it away as to what it is but they do have the DMC numbers so if you are familiar with the DMC line you will um, I mean I still see these numbers but it doesn't translate well to color for me so I'm not gonna be able to figure out what the image is just by seeing these numbers uh, for, like 414, I'm pretty sure, is a gray color. Um, 606 is a red. Um, 939 is a dark blue. And yeah, that's basically the only things I can tell you off the top of my head. But let's pull the canvas back. It's going to basically just be blank, but, you know, I want to release this uh, curl from the canvas. And that way we can kind of look at the, the adhesive, make sure there's no bubbles. And maybe we can kind of peek at what this image might be. Let's 
going to be kind of hard. I mean, it looks like some kind of a sunburst. That's, but I could be very wrong on that. I mean, this is all you see is black and white. And this is square, which I think makes more sense for a mystery diamond painting. Because if you have no color in the background and you're doing a round, that's why I don't think... I think that's why the one that I did previous didn't turn out really great because there was no color in the background after all the drills were put on it. Um, but with the square, you don't really have to worry about that unless your drills are too small for the canvas. So here is the drill fill. You can read those pretty darn clear. I mean, there's not much to obscure it with color. And yeah, my autofocus is... I'm going to have to look into that for next video, but there we can get a better view. Yeah. You can see those symbols really well. Um, I guess the cover wanted to go back on. It says 30 by 40. I don't see any bubbles whatsoever, so that looks really good. I'm going to just release this size side of it, and I will then measure it to see because I am I'm not quite sure just by eyeballing it for some reason I just can't maybe because it's a mystery I don't know normally I can look at it and say yeah that's actually 30 by 40 but I, I found that when they have this kind of covering most of the time it's true to size but it could be not so that's why I like to measure just to be sure uh, yeah, this is almost 25 wide, and it is about 34 and a half long. So it's 30 by 40 is the canvas size, not the drilling area. And it does have, let's see, it does have an inventory, but they are in chain bag. They're not like in those individual, which I have found that I do not ever want to purchase a diamond painting ever again that has that kind of, where they send the drills in packets of 200. That's, that, I just feel like it's so much more work and it's less accurate that you're going to get everything when it comes, when they come in packets like that. But... The, all the, the best companies that I've ordered from, they either send them in packages like this or they come in the Wade bags with the zip, zip seal. Zipper seal. Okay, I like these colors. We've got some pretty pinks and oranges. I'll pull them out. And they do have the numbers on the bags too. So let's zoom in so we can see the colors better. Okay, so 19 colors in this uh, it says 27 colors. Okay, there we go. There's another strip here. So yeah, two strips. Let's start with number one, which is 317. So we've got a bit of gray in this one. There's two bags of the 317 and one bag of 414, 414 one bag of 451, which is that... It's kind of a purplish gray color. And then we've got this one, a minty green. Oh, and this is a really pretty pink. It's like a salmon pink. And then here's that 606 red. This actually looks more like an orangish red. In fact, in the camera, it looks orange. But it is red. I don't know if that makes it... Yeah, it's just going fuzzy on me. Um, 608. That's a nice orange color. And then we got little bit of that color. Here's another pretty pink, $8.99. And then there's dark blue, $9.39. Another pink. I can't wait to see what this is. And uh, pretty green. Another orange. And these are kind of skin tones, 13 and 14. Then we have another pinkish color. Mm, like a gunmetal gray. And 
There's a really peachy peach. And there's a teal color here. And then we have the last strip here. We've got, that's pretty teal as well. So I don't know. Yeah, those are two different teal colors, but they're both, they, they're both definitely teal. That's number 19 and 20. So they're two different numbers. 3808 and 3808, 3809. And then there's that uh, pastel, yellow. Another peach color. Yeah, these are some pretty colors. I, I'm i just, wish I wish there was purple. But who knows what this image is. Maybe purple doesn't make sense. So there's more green. And another, this one's a pretty green. I like that. And a kind of a color of sand here. It looks yellow in the camera, but it's actually more brown in person. And then there's that color I want to call taupe, but it's like a purplish, purplish gray. Not sure what it is. No, I was thinking that was this one here, but these are kind of similar. One's a little darker than the other. And then we have white, 386, well, 3865, which is that off-white. But look at the sparkle. You can see the sparkle through the bags. Um, yeah, look at that. But this is square. I haven't, I haven't done a square in a while. Um, but there we go. That is our uh, mystery diamond painting. And this one is $14.99. And also the link on this one will also give you a 5% discount by using that link. It's um, a special coupon that he sent for me to you. So those coupons, this, these links will be good until December 12th, 2020. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. And I don't know if, how long the his mystery diamond painting has been in the shop, but if you've ordered this brand of mystery painting, let me know what you thought of the results. And I'm going to actually give it a try and see what it comes out to be. So let me know what you think, and I hope you enjoyed my video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't, because I love my subscribers. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have fun diamond painting, and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.